perhaps it's interesting to show some progress on the Bass Boost amplifier. And like I told in an earlier video, I will also make a kind of switch where this amplifier does no longer work as a Bass Boost amplifier, but as a normal amplifier, say between 50 Hz, perhaps 30 Hz, and say 18 kHz. Have to test that. Of course, when everything is nice and fine and worked out, uh, what the real frequency uh, range will be for audio, but anyway. Uh, I talked about this whole unit, the shielding, etc. etc. Uh, this is, say, the cap that will be mounted all over this amplifier. But more important, perhaps, is to tell something about the front, the front plate. Uh, the say, uh, steel shielding means that no hum can enter to this amplifier. And this is the front plate at the moment that I'm going to use. You see uh, uh, all kinds of things. The on off switch of course and there is a switch where I can switch between the bass boost and normal. And there are two knobs here. One knob, the right knob is for the volume control and the left knob is for the, uh, say, the effect of the bass boost. I want to use here a switch. You can see it on the back side here. This switch with which I can say uh, set in certain uh, sound profiles. Anyway, in terms of bass boost, uh, I have to uh, think about that further, etc., etc. Uh, and the final uh, schematic will surely be showed. These are two kinch sockets. And this is a kind of jack socket. Here is a switch where I can switch between the two ones. And also a switch where I can switch between, say, the bass boost and the normal audio reproduction. Between, say, 50 Hz and 18 kHz. Perhaps... Uh, it's interesting to show, say, this, this is what I've made at first, kind of drawing a template to uh, see, know where all the knobs and input um, electrodes must be. And also interesting perhaps that there is another side here. And well, this is only the first ID, ID, so I don't flip it be, because perhaps you could think it is uh, the definite circuit, but it is not the definite circuit. So, anyway, first IDs. <laughs> this is, by the way, of course, always a good ID, kind of template. Uh, and like I told earlier, I've used here very thin aluminum plate that's very very easy to handle uh, you can even cut it with a knife and I've done that here to make that hole here and uh, to shield it properly because aluminum is a bad in a certain way a bad uh, material to shield uh, whatever circuits from outdoor electromagnetic influences. I've glued here a piece of template. And after that I mounted the whole, all the units here in. 
this is the main switch. This is the switch to switch between bass boost and not bass boost. Uh, this is a switch between the two inputs, that is the, the, the kinch here, and the jack input, etc. etc. And here the that will be the switch to set certain sound profiles. And the front looks like this. Well, looks quite good. Uh, the aluminum plate was first scraped with a steel wool. And then it was sprayed with a, a transparent varnish. So that we have after all kind of a normal ID. Not completely uh, say uh, a hobby ID. Uh, and what's wrong about that I don't know but anyway. Uh, of course you also want to make such a circuit in a certain way that it looks nice. And that's my aim here. The kinch, the jack input, the different switches, etc. etc. Well, that was more or less all to tell. Uh, nothing changed in this amplifier. Uh, here we have again say the whole uh, idea of making this circuit. Uh, very important is of course that the kinch sockets must not be connected directly to the, um, the front plate. They must keep isolated, they must be hold isolated. Exactly the same for the jack input. They are now completely isolated and uh, the reason is that when you say mount them directly to the metal of your amplifier, the risk that you get a ground loop is very very high. So um, let's say this will be the situation. Uh, the say the the minus of the um, kinch sockets will be connected here with a wire to the minus of this. So uh, when there is another connection, say when you uh, mount these kinch sockets directly to the to the aluminum plate or the steel plate or whatever. Uh, there's an enormous risk that you get a ground current and this hum that you hum that you cannot repair. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. This was more or less all. When you want to know more, go to my book Schematics to Audio Amplifiers and Loudspeaker Boxes on the Lulu website for more practical tips. Thanks for watching.